name is Rosalind Talon. I lost my brother. Uh, he was a probationary firefighter at Ladder 10. So why are you out here tonight uh, protesting the former mayor? I feel very strongly that America needs to become informed about Rudy Giuliani's leadership leading up to 9-11. A lot of people focus on his moments, on, uh, moments of strength on television, but I think to really understand his leadership is to understand what did he do to prepare New York City for this attack. He, he had knowledge that he had knowledge that we weren't privy to, that he should have had the firefighters and, and the, the citizens of New York much better prepared for this event. My brother had um, a radio in his hand that was a 1970 radio that failed the firefighters in, in 1993. Giuliani had eight years to remedy that and he did not. He did not, not only did he not do that, he engaged in illegal activities with the Motorola Corporation that resulted in junk radios in the hands of firefighters that had to be pulled a week after they were in service because they almost killed a firefighter. As a result, the radios in the hands of the firefighters on 9-11 did not work. My brother was as good as being deaf, dumb, and blind in those towers. I hold Rudolph Giuliani responsible for my brother not being able to hear commands to evacuate. And as I also hold him responsible for not allowing my brother and civilians he was with to get out of those towers. He was not prepared in terms of his command. He did, had a bunker that was up in the sky at, in the very site the terrorists said they would come back to again. So uh, that, that was supposed to be the place where he would have called engineers from over the city to find out would these towers fall. It was the place, God forbid, there had been attacks in other parts of our city where he was supposed to coordinate the response. It's unconscionable to me that he is calling himself a hero or at least allowing others to call him a hero when he was not. Because a hero and a leader is somebody that prepares people. Not how you look on television for a few times. It's what you do leading up to an event and how you handle the event after. Giuliani allowed people to go on that pit. He held hands with Christy Todd Whitman and said, the air's safe, it's okay to be down there. He should have made sure those people working at that pit wore respirators, wore the proper equipment, or had them arrested. He was the law. But instead, we have people starting to die and who have died of cancer as a result of this. He is great for television and he's a master manipulator, but he is not the leader that America at this critical time of terror deserves. Uh, you've discussed some of your problems with his leadership before and after 9-11. What did you think of his performance on the day itself? On the day, he was a very strong speaker on television that day. He came across very strong. But I would, I would challenge that Given being New York City's mayor and handling all the things that go on in this city all the time, he was pretty adroit with getting on television and standing strong. So I'll give him that he was strong on television, but that doesn't make you a leader. If there's one thing you want the American people to know about Mayor Giuliani as they evaluate him this campaign season, what would that be? Know the man that he was leading up to 9-11. Not just that day. What did he do for New York City Prepare? Because that is what we need in a leader for our country. Somebody that prepares us properly because he did not prepare New York. Thanks a lot for talking to us Thank today. Thank you.